voyage of 100 million kilometers. On July 20th, 1976, Viking 1 landed right on target in the Chrysi Plain. It was less than 80 years since Robert Goddard had his epiphanal vision in a cherry tree in Massachusetts. The Viking Lander is a superbly instrumented and designed machine. It extends human capabilities to other and alien landscapes. By some standards, it's about as uh, smart as a grasshopper. By others, only as intelligent as a bacterium. There's nothing demeaning in these comparisons. It took nature hundreds of millions of years to evolve a bacterium and billions of years to make a grasshopper. With only a little experience in this sort of business, we're getting pretty good at it. One of the things that a grasshopper can do, but Viking can't, is move. We landed in the dull places on Mars. For all the solid scientific findings and tantalizing hints which Viking provided, we know that there are an enormous number of places on the planet far more interesting. What we need is a roving vehicle with advanced experiments in biology and organic chemistry, able to land in the safe but dull places and wander to the interesting places. A Mars rover hasn't got time to ask whether it should attempt the steep slope. Radio waves traveling at the speed of light take about 20 minutes for the round trip to Earth. By the time it got an answer, it might be a heap of twisted metal at the bottom of a canyon. A rover has to think for itself. Imagine a rover with laser eyes like this one but packed with sophisticated biological and chemical instruments, sampler arms, microscopes, and television cameras, wandering over the Martian landscape. It could drive to its own horizon every day, a distant feature it barely resolves at sunrise. It can be sniffing and tasting by nightfall. Billions of people could watch the unfolding adventure on their television sets as the rover explores the ancient river bottoms or cautiously approaches the enigmatic pyramids of Elysium. Most of the human species would witness the exploration of another world. A new age of discovery would have begun. Science is a collaborative enterprise spanning the generations. When it permits us to see the far side of some new horizon, we remember those who prepared the way, seeing for them also.